So at the debate, Bernie Sanders had the strongest line on climate change that I think I have ever heard from a politician ever. So this wasn't a discussion about climate change. This was a conversation that the candidates were having about foreign policy. And not only did Bernie Sanders dominate that portion, but he really centered the entire argument of foreign policy around making sure that all of the nations in the world, China, Russia, India, Pakistan, realize that we have a common enemy and it's not each other, it's climate change. That is the existential threat to all of, all of us. It's not, you know, us versus you, it's climate change versus all of us. And what he said here was just, it was a profound moment and it gave me chills. That's how powerful this was. Take a look. Here is my dream. Maybe it's a radical dream. But maybe, just maybe, given the crisis of climate change, the world can understand that instead of spending $1.8 trillion a year collectively on weapons of destruction designed to kill each other, maybe we pool our resources and fight our common enemy, which is climate change. So, David, Senator Sanders, thank you. George, back to you. That was incredible because when I kind of envision this ideal scenario where we're actually taking climate change seriously, it is really trying to build this international coalition where you tell everyone, look, why are we spending all of this money killing each other, building up our militaries, you know, uh, pursuing nuclear weapons? when we have climate change at our doorstep and all of this is meaningless if our planet becomes uninhabitable. Like, that's what I've always envisioned. And for Bernie Sanders to just explicitly say that tonight, it it was like, it was really something that resonated with me. Like, it was almost like a game changer to me. Like, the first real game changer was when Bernie Sanders on a national stage claimed that Palestinian rights are human rights. And that's something that isn't it's not controversial, it's not shocking, but just to hear someone say it on a debate stage, you know, it's it's powerful, it's meaningful. So for Bernie Sanders to say this now and really get everyone on board, or at least try, if you're serious about climate change, you have to vote for Bernie Sanders. It's not only the case that he has the best climate change policy, According to Greenpeace, they scored it, they gave him the highest score, but he also has the endorsement of the Sunrise Movement, a youth organization that is fighting like hell aggressively to combat climate change, get politicians to take action. And so for Bernie Sanders to come together, even if he's elected and he's dealing with a Republican House and Senate, as you know, the leader of the country, you can still use diplomacy to your advantage and talk to the UK, talk to India and Pakistan, bring them together, create this national coalition. And even if he can't get anything codified, you know, legislatively speaking, I mean, he can still bring the world together and that can make a huge, huge difference. We're not just talking about pursuing peace, suspending aggression but making sure we tackled the number one threat to humanity. And really this humanist approach, that's what really speaks to me. I mean, the show's called The Humanist Report, so obviously it does, but I mean, to hear someone on a debate stage say it, even for Bernie Sanders, it's surprising. And I love it. Now, part of me is expecting, my cynical heart after this week is expecting some idiot on Fox News or even MSNBC to claim that this is such a naive view of the world. And maybe it is, but we can't not try this. Like, you have to understand, this is the only way that we can really save the world. Like, we can't go at this alone. We can't just choose to unilaterally reduce our carbon footprint. We have to work with other countries. We have to make sure that we create this huge international consensus where other countries actually understand the threat of climate change. And if they don't want to act, then we put pressure on them. We use, you know, uh, soft power and diplomacy to make sure that we're doing everything in our power to stop this threat because we can't afford not to. Like on the day of this debate, there was an article that came out that said that Antarctica is 65 degrees. You can wear a t-shirt in Antarctica. That's where we're at. Australia's on fire. You can wear a t-shirt in Antarctica. So anything short of this will not suffice. So Bernie Sanders here just hit it out of the park. I loved this, and I really, really hope that everyone who's worried about climate change hears him say that, because it is just, it's everything at this point in time.